Francesca Simone, and we're in Pasadena right now. And this is Theormatic. So I started playing piano when I was three years old, so I've always really been into music. And um, my parents surprised me to Carlos Santana concert when I was uh, 11 years old. And I just remember hearing him play and I just started crying and I was like, that's what I want to do is play guitar. And at that point in my life, I'd never touched a guitar. So I got a guitar, begged my parents for a guitar and um, been practicing every single day since. I think it was always in my mind that I was always going to be into music. Like, I don't think there was even a question for me, is this like a career thing or not? Like, I just always wanted to play music. I was just like, I'm going to make a living somehow. Uh, my first paying gig was actually playing at Hershey Park. You know where Hershey Park is? In Pennsylvania. Yeah, in, uh, I was in a group called Patty and the Peppermints, and we dressed up like peppermint patties. And it was uh, three three months straight, six days a week, five sets a day, the same 30 minute set. It was very long and tedious, but we were just playing to the kids. So that was my first summer. That was, I went to Berkeley for two years. That was my f first summer. And then after that, I moved out to LA. Um, and then I lived in Pasadena for, uh, for about three months. And then that's when I got the tour for uh, Beyonce. Oh, so that was recent. So it just happened like you went from, from that. I literally to went to playing from, I literally went from playing in front of maybe like 150 people to like 100,000 people. It was insane. You know, when you're playing in front of that many people, it, it, you kind of, it's almost less nerve wracking playing in front of uh, that many people than playing in front of like 10 people, you know, because you can actually see the faces where it's just like a sea of people. Yeah, you can see the first like 10 rows and then after that it's like... So how did it happen? Like, how did they reach out to you? How did they find you? Um, so I used to put up guitar videos on Instagram and one of my videos went viral and one of my fans took it to Facebook where it went like super viral and I got all these DMs and one of the DMs was from the, um, the music director and he was like, hey, we're interested in you, send in a video, um, and send in a video, and they're like, we want you to play. So my first gig with B was um, Made in America mm -hmm. in Philly, and then Global Citizen. My um, old manager found the gig for Kehlani. Um, and yeah, Kehlani's team is great. I love Kehlani, she's amazing. We're both from the Bay, so it's it's great. So how was that tour? You said it was uh, like mm -hmm. five days, how was that? Yeah, uh, so we just did Pride Festival, um, the Pride tour, which was really cool. Um, we did LA, Toronto, and the Bay Area. So it was cool to play back in the Bay. Um, and then my first my first, actually, my first gig with Kehlani was the Billboard Women in Music, which is great. I, right now I'm working on my own music, my own solo projects. Um, I'm playing guitar on a lot of different uh, artists' tracks and um, just trying to play with as many different artists as possible and working on my, my own music. I just released um, a single, my first music video called Still. Um, and yeah, I just wanna, I wanna bring guitar back into pop music. Like it's, it's there, but people don't really think about it, if that makes sense, you know? Like if you think about like third graders, like who's their guitar hero? I feel like John Mayer was the last kind of guitar hero, but I feel like guitar, I read a Huffington Post article that said, guitar's dying out. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> I want to bring it back, you know? It's got to come back somehow. My biggest piece of advice would just be follow your heart and be yourself in the face of any 
surrounding social groups or like whatever. It's just like just stick if you can just stick to what you love and follow your heart, even if it's a little off or weird or different or something, it's like it's always going to get you where you need to go. Um, I feel like a lot of people try to fit in and, and they wear these masks and, and then they end up like, oh, what, what am I supposed to do? And they end up lost, you know? But I think it's, it's really important to, if, if you have a passion, just go for it, like, full-heartedly. It feels amazing. I think I'm, all, I'm the kind of person that's always trying to push, push myself. So even if I reach, uh, like, the peak uh, you know, I, when I was what, when I was 11, I told myself I wanted to play in front of you know, thousands of people. Now that I played in front of thousands of people, it's like, okay, what, what else can I do now? You know, so I think I'm always pushing myself. I'm always trying to get to the next peak. Um, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like like I've accomplished a lot, but I feel like I have a lot more to go. You know.